Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on the last part of Unit 2 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 3. And this unit is about Tolly chart and the frequency table. So this part of Unit 2 is aimed to check a student's understanding of the lesson or a student's progress. The first question in this part says, use the chart to answer the questions. So in this chart, we have the number of learners in the class in the first week, second week, third week, and fourth week. In the first week, we have 5, 10, 15, and 19 students. We have 19 here. In the second week, we have 5, 10, 15, 17 students. In the third week, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 22, 22 students. And in the fourth week, we have 15 students. So we have three parts which is asking about this chart or the, about this tally chart. Part A says, in which week is the number of learners more than 20? As I wrote down, on the first week we have 19, second week 17, third week 22, and fourth week we have 15. So the number of learners are more than 20 in the third week. So we can write, third week. Part B says, add the number of learners in the second and the fourth week together. What is the total? In the second week, we have 17 students. And in the fourth week, we have 15 students. 17 plus 15 is 32. So the total number of students in the second and the fourth week is 50, sorry, 32. In part C, it says, how many more learners were present in the first week, then in the fourth week. Here it means we have to subtract the number of learners in the fourth week from the first week. So in the first week, let me write it here. In the first week, we have 19 students. And in the fourth week, we have 15 students. Nine minus five is four, and one minus one is zero. So there are four more learners in the first week, then in the fourth week. Well, we are done with question one. Let me scroll down to move to question two. In question two, it says, complete the chart to show the tally marks for this data. Over here, we have the information. It says 12 people like apple, double that amount like mango. Graphs are liked by half the number of those who like apple and bananas are liked most by seven people. Well, we have the chart over here. We have from the fruit side, we have mango, apple, crab, and banana. How many mango we have? To find out the number of mango, we have to consider the number of apples because it says double that amount like mango. So first of all, 12 people like apple. Double 12 is 24. So the number of people who liked mango is 24 because it says double that. Double that means double the number of people who liked apple, liked mango. And apple already given there, it is 12. And grab, it says grabs are liked by half the number of those who liked apple. How many people like apple? 12. So half of 12, half of 12 means 12, 12 divided by two, which is six. So six people liked grabs. How many people like banana? Bananas are liked most by seven people. It's already given here, seven people. So we can write seven out here. Now again, it's asking, how many people took part in the survey? So we have to find the total number of the people who took part in this survey. Well, we have 24 and we have 6. 24 plus 6 here is 30. 30 plus 12 is 42. And 42 plus 7 is 49. So the number of people who took part in this survey is 49. We are done with question 2 as well. Let me scroll down to move to the next question, which is question three. In this question, it says, 
This table shows learners' scores from the math test. From the math test. So the scores are 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. It says use the data to complete use the data to complete the table. So we can easily complete this table by recording the data which is given here and the total chart. Starting with the first one, we have 40, so we have one tally for 40, then we have 90, one tally for 90. We go step by step. This is why tally chart is very important. Through the tally chart, we can step by step collect the data, record the data. Then we have 30, so one tally for 30. Again, we have 90, one tally for 90. Then we have 40. One more tally for 40. We have 60. So one for 60. Again, we have 30. One more tally for 30. Oh, here we have 80. So one for 80. Coming to the second row, we have 60. So one for 60. Then again, we have 60. One more for 60. Then we have 80. So I give one more tally for 80. We have 50. Now this first one for the 50, again we have 40, so 40, again there are 80, then we have 40, let me underline, we have 40, then again we have 80, so 80 is also underlined here, coming to the third row we have 50, so one more for 50 over here, then we have 70, one for 70, again we have 80. You know how to record using the trolley marks. Once it is four, the fifth one, you cross like this. So that it is grouped as a five. So 80, again we have 90, one for 90, again one more for 90. Okay, now we have 80 again. So we have to give one mark out here. Okay, then we have 40, for 40 also we have to give a cross here to show 5, and the last one is 70, which is over here. Now that we are done recording the data given in the table here using the tally marks, we have to write the frequency. You know that frequency shows how many times something has occurred or something has happened. So how many times do we have 30? We have two times. How many times? We have 40. It is 5. And we have 2 times 50. 2. We have 3 times 60. So it's 3. 2 times 70. And we have 6 times 80. 6 times 80. And then 4 times 90. 4 times 90. This is how we could record the data given in the table over here. This is the usefulness of tally chart and frequency table. You can use the tally chart to mark each one of the scores one by one in the step. Now it says write three things that the table show you. Three things that the table show you. One of the things that we can say about this chart is finding out how many students are there in the class. How many students? By adding the total number of the students here. So 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 plus 8 is 22. And 22 plus 4 is 26. We can say the number the number of students, the number of students in the class is 20. The number of students in the class, so 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, 14 plus 8 is 22, and 22 plus 4 is 26. So we can write 26, the number of students and the class is 26. And the second thing that we can say is the students 
the students who scored the students who scored 30 50 and 70 are the same are the same it means the same number of students scored 30 50 and 70 which is two two students scored 30 two students scored 50 and two students scored 70. another thing that the chart shows is that most of the students most of the students most of the students scored 80 which is 8 over here or the number of students who scored 80 is highest in the whole class is highest in the whole class you can write different perspectives over here actually the number of students who scored 80 is not 8 it is 6 it is 6 but it's still the highest you can write different things maybe you can say that the number of students who scored 80 are one more than the number of students who scored 40 because those who scored 40 is 5 and those who scored 80 is 6. So this is all about the last part of Unit 2 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learner's Book 3 and I hope it helps you learn how to use the information to make a poly chart and also to make a frequency table. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share the video with your friends, your classmates and your students. Have a nice time and thank you so much.